Hi guys, I'm Kristen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you guys are new today. Here on my channel, I do a lot of mom content and today I'm gonna do a pumping hacks video. So I have two little boys. One of them is almost three and one of them is almost three months. And with my first one, he was lip and tongue tied and couldn't nurse. And so we ended up having, I ended up pumping exclusively for him for almost 10 months. And then I'm also a former NICU nurse. I was a NICU nurse for five and a half years. And so between being a NICU nurse who worked with tons of moms who were constantly pumping for their preemies and being a mom who's herself exclusively pumped for 10 months, I have a lot of tips and tricks that I've learned that have just made my life easier because pumping is extremely time intensive. So I currently nurse my little three month old and for the most part he gets everything he needs from me, but he's not getting quite enough just through nursing. So I do pump once a day and give him, um, I get about a few ounces worth of milk to give him for one bottle during the day. And then we usually end up supplementing with like another few ounces of formula. And that's just what works for me. Um, I'm not judging anybody who breastfeeds only, bottle feeds only, formula, breast milk, pumping, whatever. I think as long as the baby is getting fed, that's great. So anyways, but I think that if you are pumping, a few tricks might be helpful because I wish I would have known all of these things before I started pumping that 10 months long exclusive pumping for my three-year-old. So let's get into it. I have 12 tips for you today and they're not in any particular order. I just like brain dumped everything I could think of and let's get to it. So the first tip is to store your pump parts in a gallon size Ziploc and then store them in the fridge. And I only wash them once a day when I do this. Um, and it just helps so that bacteria isn't growing on the pump parts, but you don't have to wash them as frequently. So I know a lot of people say you need to sterilize your pump parts every day, wash them every time you use them, and that is probably the best practice for sure. And it's what we teach like in the NICU. But for me, just like not speaking as a nurse, speaking from my own experience, I heard this hack from somebody else and I used it. I've never had any problems. I will say if you are prone to like yeast infections or mastitis, maybe wash them more frequently than this or don't use this trick, but I am not prone to those things. So I have done this for, I did this for about half the time I pumped with my first, so probably five months of that, and it saves so much time. So I just store them in the fridge, wash them once a day, and then store them in the fridge throughout the next day and it is a lifesaver. Here's a tip that really helps if you guys are pumping through the night. So with my first little boy with Henry, I pumped a, one to two times at night for the first couple of months and then I dropped the night pump. Um, but I finally got smart instead of having to go all the way downstairs, which somehow is just so much more exhausting than staying upstairs, I invested in a cooler bag and um, I would just store ice packs in here, store my pump parts in here so I didn't have to like wash them just like I would in the fridge and then I would put bottles in here and just pump upstairs and put the bottles of milk in this cooler bag and this was awesome to have because I would just leave it upstairs and then take care of it all in the morning. Um, and you can also use these if you are on the go, like in the car or going anywhere for the day and just store everything in here with ice packs and just make sure it stays cold. There's also these smaller little bags that are super helpful. So you don't have to bring a huge one if you just need like, uh, if you just need something for your milk for a few hours, then I would stick an ice pack in here and these fit bottles super nicely. And anything that I can find the link to, I will link below, especially anything from Amazon, so you guys can go check my description box out if you want any links for any of these items. My next tip is to get a car adapter. So this is great because you can plug it into the car, bring your pump with your plug, and then plug it into this part right here. And I got this on Amazon, it's been a lifesaver. I can pump while we drive. I wouldn't pump while you drive, but if my husband's driving, I'll sit in the back seat and I'll go ahead and pump and then I've used that time efficiently. And so I was able to start getting a lot more done um, by pumping in the car when we would drive somewhere so I didn't have to worry about it when I got home. Or if we were gonna be gone a long time and I had to pump, 
this was a lifesaver. I've talked about this on a couple of videos already, but something I would invest in is a hands-free pumping bra. And it has these straps right here. And then it just zips up the front right here. And then it has a hole right here. So you just go ahead and you stick your pumping parts through it and then it holds it right here for you. So this is awesome um, because you can have your hands free and take care of your baby or work on your laptop or whatever you need to be doing with your hands instead of just sitting there with your hands holding your pump stuff. So anyways, I invested in one of those really quickly when I started pumping and I'm super glad I did because it made a huge difference. My next tip is forget all the sterilizing like I talked about before. Forget the sterilizing, forget the fancy, like washing by hand with all the fancy brushes. Just wash your pump parts in the dishwasher. I like didn't do this for a long time because I felt like it wasn't clean enough. And you know, being a NICU nurse with the hospital standards, we would wash everything super carefully, you know, sterilize bottles and all that stuff. Um, but I finally learned that it works just fine, at least for me. So I started washing all my pump parts in the dishwasher. I will say if you have really hard water like we do, um, sometimes it requires like a little bit of a scrub with a brush before and after, but for the actual sterilizing, just let the dishwasher do the work. Don't make it harder than you have to. My next tip for you is one of the most important and it's get a good quality pump, especially if you struggle with milk supply. I almost lost my supply after like a month with my first. It was a month after I had him and a couple of things, I wasn't pumping long enough, I wasn't pumping, I was pumping frequently enough, but I didn't have a great pump. So I got a good pump, invested in a nice pump, and it made a huge difference. This is the pump I like to use. It's the Spectra, it's the S2 model, and it has the tubing right here, and like the closed section, and you hook up your pump parts to these pieces right here. And it's got, power button and then it's got the um, speed over here and the suction over here and it's even got like a little light right here for at night which is nice you know you want to start with lower suction higher frequency to mimic what a baby would do and then after a few minutes once you get your letdown you want to switch over to higher suction lower frequency and so there's this button in the middle that you can preset what you want your cycle to be at, if that makes sense. So this is one of the best pumps out there. It's pretty affordable. I mean, it's like about $130, I believe, maybe a little bit more. Um, the, the S1 or the blue one is the same thing. It just comes with a rechargeable battery. But if you have the car adapter, then you really don't need that and you can save a lot of money. So that's what I would recommend and it makes a huge difference. I've used this for years and I love it. Okay, the next tip is really, really important as well and it's frequency is key with pumping. So the way your body works with milk or typically the way it works is as often as the baby is sucking on you, trying to get milk, your body is going to like meet that level of need. Now, it doesn't always work. There's sometimes issues with milk supply unfortunately, but on average, that is how it works. So if you are not getting enough milk while you're pumping, try pumping more frequently. Try adding one more in the day. Um, I would say don't pump more than, you know, two hours apart, um, but don't go longer than three hours if you are first starting. If it's been a couple of months and your supply is established, you can start experimenting with dropping pumps. It just depends on your body. So for me, I'm able to like store a lot of milk up and then still get a lot without like losing my supply too much. So I, if I felt like I was going insane and didn't have enough time to be a good mom, that's when I knew it was time to drop a pump. So usually every two months I would drop a pump and some, I would often pump a little bit longer each time, but overall I was having to pump less, which was nice. But for the first two months, I had to pump every three hours. That was really key. So stick to that. Then you can experiment with less and less, depending on how long you want to pump for your child. 
Next tip kind of goes along with the last one, pump until you're dry. Um, for me, I almost lost my supply at one month because I wasn't pumping long enough. And I was pumping for about 15 minutes, which is I think normal for most people. For my body, I had to pump for 30 to 45 minutes. And unfortunately, that's just what it took to keep up my supply. So at the time, I was able to do that because I, I was on maternity leave and I actually quit being a nurse soon after and I only had my little baby. So it was still a lot of work, but I was able to do that. Um, and if you are not, then just don't worry about it. Like don't put pressure on yourself. But if you really wanna get your milk supply up and that's like you're able to do that, pump until you're dry every time and that will really help because it will let your body know that you need that much milk produced and then it will meet the demand that you're giving it. My next tip is to invest in some of these storage bags. This is the Lansano brand. They're pretty affordable. I wanna say they're 10 or $15 for a huge pack of like 100 of these. This will save all of the space in your fridge and freezer. So it's just these little packs. There's a spot to put name, date, and time. Um, and also the volume. And then it gives you like a max volume line of 180 mils or six ounces. And then what you can do, especially in the freezer, is store them flat. And this keeps your milk clean and sterile. And it also allows you to stack the bags on top of each other. So instead of trying to cram a million bottles in, stack them in these nice little bags and they'll be way easier to store. All right, my last tip is the most fun one and it's keep your baby near you while you pump. There's actual science involved with this and when you hear your baby cry or your baby is near you, your body is more likely to let down and have some good milk production. So try to snuggle your baby if you can or if you're giving him a bottle, have him right next to you while you're giving him a bottle and pumping at the same time. I did that a lot and it really will help your milk production. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. I really hope that this is gonna be helpful to you mamas who are struggling. I was struggling big time when I first started pumping exclusively for my first and this has made the world of difference. And if you're pumping at all and especially if you're pumping exclusively Try a few of these out and see if they help you. And please comment below because I'm still pumping. Like I said, just once a day, but I'm still pumping. So if you guys have any ideas for me, I would love to hear them. Thank you so much for watching. And please remember to like this video and go ahead and subscribe to Kristen Perkins for more mom content. I post every Tuesday at 10 a.m. And thank you as always for your support. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. You had me at Where you go is where I go